In today's video, we're going to talk about the brand new NAND Robot Lightning 3.0 edition. This has some upgrades over the Lightning 2.0 edition that came out not that long ago, namely better suspension, better tires, better grip, and also the ability of going single or dual motor with a single button, and the ability of going all the way up to 55 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour with this scooter. Uh, I also want to say thank you very much to NAND Robot for sending me out not only their jacket, their gaiter, the helmet, as well as the glove for some protection while experiencing the speed that you get with this scooter. This is TK and this is my review of the brand new Nanrobot Lightning 3.0. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe as usual. Make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. We're going to start off by talking, of course, about the unboxing. Now, I had the opportunity, the unique opportunity, to be able to check out both the standard version, Lightning version 2.0 from NanRobot, and I also got a chance to test out the upgraded edition, which is the one I'm actually doing the review for you guys. The biggest thing I'll probably say is if you've seen any of the other videos or any of the content online about the NAND Robot Lightning version 2, that's the original version. The version 3.0 is the recent one that's being pushed. The first thing I'll start off by saying is a few minor differences. Aesthetically, they look similar as I'm showing you guys with the content there. Now, what we're talking about essentially is a four key changes that they've done here. First and foremost is they went with the slightly bigger tires. They went from the eight inch solid tires. Now they're in 8.5 mnemonic tires, which give us a little bit better configuration as far as dampening the shock absorption when you're going over harder surfaces. The shock absorbers have also gone to oil from gas. That also gives us the ability of having better, uh, better performance overall. The next thing we're also talking about here is the difference in the configuration of how to engage in dual motor and single motor. Um, in the original version, version 2.0, we had two buttons to be able to do that. And I felt like this was a little bit too complicated when you're riding it. You had two buttons and the grip and the, control and the pedal assist uh, shifter. A lot of things to do on the right side of the scooter itself. Now it's a simple single or dual, meaning with the pedal assist three steps, one, two, three, that you start off directly with the controller where the trigger is sitting, you're able to basically go one, two, three, single motor. That's going to be your level one, two, and three. You turn on the dual motor, then you're kind of going into four, five, and six. So you get into that higher level, and that's how you're able to push all the way up to basically uh, that 55 miles, an, sorry, 50, 55 kilometers, 35 miles an hour. Sorry, always configure the two uh, a little bit backwards there. But at the end of the day, what you're getting there is a very unique and stepped experience that you're able to use whichever one works for you the best. I think that's the biggest thing there. But as far as the unboxing, it was pretty much straightforward, 90% assembled. Uh, the really nice thing I love about it is because it does actually have a lot more power on it with the dual motor configuration, again, the, tool, the dual 800 watt motors that we have in here. The really nice configuration that we have there on the boom is actually very nicely tightly winded and it's actually very uh, secure. You don't have to worry about it popping off or coming off by any chance. Uh, we have lights on the top, of course, signal lights on the back. We have a horn built into it, a configuration where you actually have to put in a key, turn it on, and then turn on the bike so that you don't accidentally turn it on. It doesn't need to be kicked, push, start. It just basically you start on by just basically turning it on and hitting the acceleration or the trigger, and it'll pick up from start. So you don't have to actually push off. Uh, I'm not sure why it's called pedal assist, but for the most part, that's the configuration that we have. Um, other than that, it's very nice. Uh, the bed of that is actually where the batteries are sitting there. There is a non-slip material, kind of like a skateboard, so you're not going to have to worry about it. And there's some screws on the back that we're going to talk about when it comes down to actually putting in a chair. So if you want to actually use, uh, there's an option for you to be able to get an accessory, which I'll also share with you guys in a second there. Um, other than that, you have the two charging ports on the bottom left side. So if you're facing the scooter around, you're standing on it, it'll be on the bottom left to be able to charge up our battery. Now, with a single battery, you're able to charge, well, single charger, which is what typically comes in the box, you're able to charge it, but almost basically, I'll say basically almost like nine hours from zero to 100%. If you use a dual charger, which is a unique experience, and one thing to mention, the charger is a very easy plug and play. There's no proprietary connector. You just plug it in. You're able to cut that down to almost about five hours to charge it from zero to 100%. So it's really beneficial if you'd like to pick up another charger, if you want to charge it up faster. But otherwise, it does pretty decently overnight. You can get it charged up and it works great. Uh, the color is really good. The changes from the original version to this version are minor as far as visually, but the better grip that we get in there is also very functional because it's smaller, it's more ergonomic to our hands as opposed to where I felt like the original one was uh, bigger. Not that it wasn't manageable, but I'm not going to say I have big hands, but it, the essentially is if you have smaller hands, they may not have been very ergonomic. This one fits very nicely. Uh, the new shocks that we have in there, the new tires in there as well are also very complementing. And I like the drive system now. It's simple. You know exactly if you're in dual or in single motor, you never have to miss out uh, on that one. Now, 
As far as the chair configuration that we have in here, it's pretty much a experience that you'd want to be able to use. If you like it, I think it's a functional option. Uh, there is four screws on the back of the actual scooter closer to the rear tire that you need to take off. And the chair comes with the replacement scooter uh, screws that allows you to actually put the offset in there and position it and then set it to the level that you want. Uh, the one thing I will say though, once you have the chair in there, it's hard for you to bend the, the arm down to be able to carry the scooter. You're pretty much going to have to carry it from both the boom and the chair if you want to lift it and put it into places. But otherwise, it actually looks really nice. Um, I tried it out with that one. I'll personally say this. Um, I did not feel comfortable going full speed with the chair, mostly because I'm sitting and I'm almost, I felt like I didn't have as much control in case something did happen. But for the most part, I kept it to basically putting it in dual motor level two. That was the maximum I was willing to go. And that was comfortable for me and it rode really nicely. I will say though, keep in mind when you're using it with the chair, most of the weight is going to be lifted or shifted towards the back. So just be aware again, the maximum weight limit here of the 280 pounds or 280 pounds is, is basically lifted between the too so just be aware of that a little bit uh, the tires are very nice it, they are basically there is an inner tube inside so if god forbid something happens easily replaced uh, again eight eight and a half inch as opposed to the eight inch what we had before but when you're riding it without uh, the chair and you're using it like a regular scooter the configuration is absolutely fantastic it's so fast so nimble so comfortable and so bouncy uh, the shocks absorber that we have in here the new system is definitely much more i feel like more responsive and better on the joints i don't know how to describe it otherwise the other one was definitely good but it felt like when you're going over let's say if you do a little bit of a jump on it the impact was harder because again it was solid tires you didn't have a lot of that bounce coming in not only from the shocks but also from the tires themselves uh, but uh, again, keeping it and going at a high, high speed, you do definitely need to be wearing uh, more protective gear. So let's talk a little bit about the actual gear that they also sent me over. So they hooked it up all the way. We have the jacket. The jacket itself is basically similar to a, a biker's jacket. There's protection pads in the center of the back. Uh, there's basically elbow guards. And of course, it has protection on the front as well in case, God forbids, you do fall down. It covers you entirely. It's a dual layer jacket with uh, more of a plastic covering on the inside. And then there's a lot of openings to be able to allow the airflow. You would think that if you're wearing something like that, you're going to heat up a lot, but they've done the work and it does work very nicely. Um, as far as the actual, uh, uh, the other things that came with it as well, we also had a gaiter to be able to provide us the protection for our neck when you're outdoors. And of course, the helmet and the gloves. The gloves, very nice. Some uh, padding on them as well. Very easy to uh, basically use. Very simple. They're small. They're easy to use. The gaiter I found that was actually, even though at the beginning I stopped, I wasn't using it, um, I realized that at the time, if there's a lot of sun when you're wearing helmets and you're wearing a jacket, your neck is always almost exposed. So it actually does provide a little bit of protection there. The helmet itself is actually really, really cool. This, this is a dual piece uh, helmet. There's basically the helmet itself that it has basically a front shield that covers that goes right over your mouth that clips on the side. Uh, it worked great with my earbuds, my glasses. It's really nice. I went with the larger size. Uh, they had nice little vent opening at the top as well as the grill on the front has a mesh fabric to allow the airflow coming through. So when you're riding it and there's enough air, you're not going to sweat. There's not going to be as much of an issue thinking that it's going to overheat. So definitely very nice from the protection gear there. And that allowed me to be able to push the bike or to push the actual scooter all the way up to 55 uh, kilometers or 35 miles an hour because it's rated to be 30, but I found that I was able to go faster. So this is one of the most comfortable, the fastest, most responsive uh, scooters that we've, I've seen on the market. And it's definitely enjoyable to ride and to do a little bit of tricks if you feel confident enough. I think that's where the new system kind of works better for you. Um, I'm starting to test out the equipment. They sent me the helmet. Uh, there's the face shield. There's a small gator here, the gloves, and of course, the jacket, yours truly, absolutely kick-ass. Um, of course, a lot of the stuff is intended to protect you at the, because this thing actually goes pretty fast if you want to be able to push it. But overall, I think the overall experience stays pretty much the same. Drive it moderately, configure the speed to, to what you needed, and you're not going to be disappointed. So we're going to start it off first with uh, basically single motor, and we're going to go to pedal assist one. We're going to accelerate from one, two, three, keeping it single motor, and then when we hit the maximum speed, we're going to do a deceleration, obviously using the brakes, and see how smooth it is to accelerate and decelerate. Okay, level two. Level three. Okay, now we're going to break. Level 
please be aware that the kick or the acceleration boost with level two when you go into dual motor is very different than level one, even when you're starting off at pedal assist one. Just be aware of that when you're accelerating. So do it a couple of times before you start doing a little bit more of a long range ride like this. So we're gonna start off with one, go to two, go to three. And then when we're hitting maximum speed, we're gonna hit the brakes and, and we'll of course come to a full stop on with dual motor now. So single motor, pretty good. Now we're gonna go to dual motor. Now we're gonna go to level three, pedal assist with dual motor. Now the one thing I will say, the maximum speed on this is in kilometers right now and it rocked in at about 55 miles an hour. I was going all the way to 55, level three, dual motor. That's gonna be the fastest experience. And be aware that obviously sharp turns, uh, a lot of turns is not gonna be recommended. It's pretty much gonna be more of a straight shot when you know exactly how the road is. You know that there's no bumps, there's no issues at all. This is gonna give you the best experience. But this was a quick experience. You notice there, acceleration was smooth on level one, on both with and without dual motor. When you go to level two is when we start seeing the biggest difference. So technically level two and level five give you the maximum experience realistically. And then of course level six, which essentially is dual motor on pedal assist three, is the fastest, the most uh, in, you know invigorating experience. And this is one of the reasons why I'm wearing all this protection gear that um, they provided me as well, which is definitely very nice. The helmet provides me protection for my head. I'm able to open it up. It can open, close the actual visor. There's a grill in here. There's a gator to protect my neck from the sun. Of course, my hands, there's little pads as well in case I land on there. The jacket is definitely very well padded, uh, very much a, a, an experience like a motorcycle rider would be. Now, one of the other options you're able to do is using it with the chair. As you can see, I have it right there installed. Now, this runs more of a kind of like a motorcycle experience. It's a scooter with a chair. You get to put your feet there parallel to each other. I recommend you not using the dual motor unless you're very, very comfortable, maybe level two but definitely not going up to the 35 miles or basically 55 kilometers an hour that we have in here. I'm gonna actually start the acceleration. I'm gonna go down to one, which is typically the slowest option, but because we're not very stationary, very I feel like the, the position is not as secure, I'm gonna just start off with one, two, and three single motor. And of course, show the slowage, and of course, there's just some experiences of how this is actually ride. So again, starting off with single motor, level one, pedal assist, on and on. much just like as if you're riding it normally I don't think necessarily this is very fast you definitely want to be able to go into level two and even level three and surprisingly the control is not bad As you saw there, the performance is very, very nice. I will say a couple of things about it though. Um, as I was testing this in Los Angeles in Southern California, we've been running really hot temperatures and the scooter will throttle a little bit when it's really hot to keep the thermal temperatures uh, in check. So that's something that's normal. If you're riding it in a hotter weather, that's gonna be there. But if you're running it more like closer to 80 degrees or so on, I think it's gonna run perfectly fine. Max speed I was able to hit was 55 uh, kilometers an hour, which basically translates to about 35 miles an hour very nice, very stable, and with the right protection gear. I definitely have to emphasize the fact that you need to wear the right protection gear. And then Robot actually has everything that you need from all the accessories to this scooter or even other options that they have available. 
Um, it's a very powerful scooter with a lot of power and easily accessible. The acceleration, even at level one with single motor with level one, is definitely going to be felt. And that's one of the reasons why the configuration on the boom in the front is actually a twist uh, lock as opposed to just a clamp so that it actually is very solidly connected and always double check that. Check the tires, make sure everything is working great and make sure that everything uh, is basically uh, in control and you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, my recommendation I would probably say is do pick up an extra charger if you're able to because that will cut down the charging time by literally half. Very few chargers or very few scooters on the market right now allow you to do fast charging on something that runs so nicely. So to summarize the entire experience, I'll say that it's a very well designed, very nice looking uh, scooter. It has signal lights. It has a really nice strong light in the front, a horn that's built into it, a double configuration turn on uh, setup, which initially I felt like was redundant, but then I realized it's actually more for protection. You don't just put the key and turn it on and start riding. You do have to turn on the system with it at that point. And at that point, you know exactly that your system is ready to go. And as long as you're aware of what you're doing, you're not going to be disappointed. This is definitely very nice and very powerful. Uh, the chair accessory was a good option. I tried it out. It wasn't hard uh, to actually you know, get used to using it. It's just not my personal preference. But if you like that, they have that as well. And of course, all the protection gear and there are additional accessories available on their site. Like and subscribe, of course, as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much to NanoRobot for providing me this, uh, this entire ensemble of uh, scooter protection gear and even the additional chair to be able to test out and share with you guys my experience. I'll see you in the next video.